Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. In today's video we're going to continue on the topic that I've been focusing on lately and that's why is Freightliner a superior product to the pickups. In addition to that I brought out an aftermarket object that I've talked about substantially and today we're going to get a closer look at it because it's independent. So this is a 2000 23 Freightliner M2 106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. So as we start and we take a look at it from the side, this is a Viper Red. This particular color has been very successful to us in the past. So we do have one red truck left and it is available. So when we talk about the advantages Freightliner has over pickups, Okay, and we're gonna try to simplify it down a little bit and narrow it to just three. First and foremost is safety. Because there is really no price tag you can put on you or your family's life. So safety is the number one object in producing the M2106. And we can already see one of the big advantages. And that's simply the sheer size and mass that the Freightliner has to offer. If we are in our travels, Worst case scenario, something terrible happens, our chances of walking away from a Freightliner are substantially higher than a pickup. Now on this specific truck, we can see it comes with two storage components. There's a little bit smaller one in back. And a larger one up front. You notice it's diamond plated. Furthermore, it comes with a connection and an air hose if one is needed. And that's really something I think a guy would use more, more than you might realize. I mean, it could do a couple of things. I mean, if you have a tire that's a little low, you can air that back up. But you can also hook it up to dust yourself off and the interior of the truck just to help maintain it. Under here is the trickle charger. If you want to leave lights on at night, you simply plug that in to assist the batteries in maintaining power. Under this step is one of two 50 gallon fuel tanks, the other one on the opposite side. And right next to that is a six gallon DEF tank. This is the block heater. People in cold climates can simply plug that truck in using the block heater. As we come around and take a look from the front, and we'll start at the ground and work our way up. Two tow hooks located right in the middle, a bumper that is broken into three sections. So if we are in an accident, we can simply replace that section without having to do the entire bumper. On up, we find an aftermarket grill with a summit hauler badge located right in the middle. As we go on up, we'll take a look at the hood. Another advantage that Freightliner has over pickups is durability and longevity, and this hood is proof of that. And the reason I say that is because it comes with compressed fiberglass. That hood is tough. I mean, we had a hailstorm come through that demolished the pickups especially the Fords, but by taking a look at the hood of the Freightliners, you couldn't tell anything had happened. As we go on up, another safety advantage, that's the windshield. That's 2,500 square inches of glass. So that, coupled with the fact that we are already above traffic, makes visibility simply outstanding. And as we go on up, finally is a row of orange lights located across the top to help light the truck up at night. Under the hood, that's the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 360 horsepower and 1150 foot-pounds of torque. We see how things are color coordinated. 
where we see red, we're gonna leave that for the Freightliner mechanics. Where we see yellow, such as here and directly across, those are things we can check in a pre-trip inspection. So let's talk about service real quick. We're talking, we're comparing Ford or Freightliners to the pickups. Well, here at TransWest in Frederick, we are certified Freightliner Elite. So what does that mean? Well, we've had to meet several qualifications to become elite level status. And an example of that, if you pull in, you know, it's first come, first serve. They get you in right away, in constant communication to what's going on with your truck. Or if it's simply a service, let you know what the expected time is to get that done. You're welcome to sit in the lounge. In addition to that, we have people to take you places. For example, if you are in need of staying overnight, we can take you to hotels, stuff like that. Just the customer's service level is taken up a notch. Well, compare that to a pickup. You set an appointment up, you show up, you may or may not get in that day, and then you're sitting behind the Ford Escort right in front of you, and they stick you in the lounge, and there's no communication at all. You may be there two hours, you may be there the rest of the day. Just an extremely different level of service you get with a Freightliner dealership. And as you know, there's Freightliners all over the country. Consequently, you're gonna get that type of service wherever you go. As we come on in and focus on the tires, those are Michelin 255-80 R22.5. I mentioned this is a summit hauler. One of the unique things that we do is put these tire balancers in. So those have BBs and a little bit of hydraulic oil. So as you pick up speed and as you gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass. <coughs> Consequently, everything is safer if it's balanced. It makes for a more comfortable drive and it extends tire life up to 40%. This truck is stock number 5N230038. So when this truck catches your eye, simply call me, refer to this stock number so I can get you taken care of properly. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both driver and passenger seat are air ride. Those adjustments can be made right here. This is for the lumbar system that lets air in and out of the back of the seat. They are heated as well with different levels and those adjustments made here. The truck comes with a kill switch located right there. Chances are whoever buys this truck isn't going to use it for a daily driver. You know, it's going to sit for maybe a month, maybe two in between trips. Well, that's where the kill switch comes in handy. So by killing off the, any stray voltage helps prevent any type of damage to those batteries. Consequently, it will extend the battery life. Under the steering wheel, we find a small pedal. That is to adjust the steering wheel when sitting in the driver's seat. When you go to start your truck, turn that key about halfway, let those gauges go all the way over and back. Basically, it's resetting itself. And then start the truck. The back seat can be made down into a bed simply by pushing a button. So more than likely you're going to be taking long trips and journeys in this truck. So say you prefer to travel at night, you want to catch a little nap during the day, simply drop that seat down makes things a lot more comfortable. Now as we focus on the bed of the truck, there's four inch rails running along each side. So one thing I've talked about almost in every video is the Hensley hitch, you know, and what advantages that it brings to the table. So I thought I'd bring one out today and, and kind of go over it a little bit more in depth 
and thoroughly. So you hear me say that basically the truck isn't riding metal on metal, it's on air. Well, here's why I say that. I mean, yeah, obviously there's some metal involved because we hooked the trailer up right here, so we have that. But we have air suspension underneath that is why I say it's basically riding on air. Uh, we'll walk around a little bit and I'll show you where it hooks up to the air for the truck. So these bags fill with air, okay? And it's automatic leveling. So when you bring down the weight of the trailer, that's gonna level itself out. So the advantages of having air suspension underneath it is, you know, on a, on a fifth wheel, a lot of times when you're going, you'll kind of get that jerking motion, you know, that's really kind of uncomfortable. This eliminates that is what that does. And if you hit potholes, or any type of bump, that air is gonna absorb it. So that's one reason it is the highest quality hitch on the market today. And since we're basically riding on air using these airbags, that helps the longevity of the trailer. As we come on around to this side and see, another name for this hitch is the trailer saver. And basically I just told you why that happens. This is what connects to the air on the truck. And when you purchase that, obviously we're gonna have all of that done for you. So the air runs through this line and into the bags. One thing that is, is important, we can swap that head out. So if you have a gooseneck trailer instead of the fifth wheel, I can swap that out before you pick them up. But let's say we have it in a case where we have both, those are interchangeable so you can hook either one up all you do is use this bolt right here and unscrew it okay and then that comes off and you can set the gooseneck bolt in and simply put that bolt back in this company has been around for a very long time and one reason of that is customer service I mean, we've had very rare occasions where say this bag or something gets cut or doesn't work for some reason. We've simply called them and no questions asked, boom, they sent us another one. <clears throat> so we're like-minded from the standpoint that customer service is very important. So that's one thing that they, they bring to the table as well. So that is the hitch I'm talking about in the videos where I'm talking about the, the Hensley hitch. Now, as we go back to the truck, the backup camera is located right up there. As we come on down, we notice two holes already pre-drilled. If you are in need of more storage, that is where you hook it up. I can actually have an additional storage box sent right to your location and you can install that yourself. It's very simple to do. We notice that the bed is diamond plated. You can get the gooseneck ball without the Hensley if you choose to do so. Right here is where we hook up the lights for the trailer. As we go down, this is for the Voyager system. Now that's the same system that the backup camera uses. But if you find yourself in need of an additional camera or two, you simply hook them up right there. Finally, as we go on down, we see a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. As we come on around and take a view from this side, we've talked about the safety advantages to it and some of the comfort advantages. Let's talk about some economic advantages to this truck. So your question may be, well, Larry, if, it's such a, if it is a higher price point, how can it be more economical? Let me explain. You can get 750,000 miles out of this truck if you take care of it. Well, I've redone the research myself. On the GMC 3500, expected life is about 300,000 miles. On a Ram, it's 250 to 300,000 miles. So, basic logic tells you you're going to go through two, possibly three, hundred, hundred and ten thousand dollar pickups 
by the time you go through this. So the economic advantage falls to Freightliner. Let's take a look inside the passenger seat. Again, that is Air Ride with the same adjustments that's on the driver's side. <coughs> Under here, give this access to the cab air filters. From this particular view, you can really see just how much room and space is available in this truck. I can also safely say that the Summit Hauler conversion has the softest, most comfortable seats on the market today. So when you combine those two things and compare this truck to a pickup, there really is not much of a comparison. So let's crawl on in and take a closer look. So as we look directly in front of us, this simply confirms what I was talking about on the outside. See how we're higher and we're above traffic and we see the large windshield? Well, that accomplishes two things. Since we're above traffic, we see what's going on for a substantial distance in front of us. And we can see what's coming on the sides, if anything. The backup camera is located right here. So if we do put more, hook up more cameras, this is where we could rotate through and see what's going on on them as well. The dash is a wraparound, meaning it's not flat. So while you're traveling, if you need to make an adjustment, it's simply right here. We're not looking, we're not stretching. It's very easy to get to. This is a big safety advantage right here. This is the engine brake. This isn't just some exhaust brake that limits the exhaust as you're going down a sharp hill decline. So by turning both of these on, and if you're coming down a decline, you basically have 350 horses coming back at you. Consequently, that makes things safer for you and your family. In addition to that, the other drivers on the road as well. Automatic transmission located here. Right now we're in neutral with the brake on. When we're ready to go, simply release the brake, D for drive, R for reverse, and we're on our way. Cruise control here, intermittent marker lights located here. Traction control, this locks the differential. Mirror heaters is located here. Now this is the dump valve. So that lets air out of the bed of the truck. An example of when you would use that is when you hook up your trailer, simply let all the air out, utilize your backup camera back underneath it, let all the air back in, and basically all you need to do is secure things and you're ready to go. This is rear air conditioning and rear heat. So red is for hot, blue is for cold to blow air to the back of the cab. If your trailer does require air, this truck is ready for that. It's all equipped and lined and ready to go we can simply install your glad hands wherever you would like them to be. Red Arc trailer brake located here. This dial is for the stereo. This is climate control. You'll notice a couple of cup holders here. And as we open it up, more than adequate storage room inside the console. So as we review, we took a look at a 2023 Freightliner M2106 with the Summit Hauler conversion. We also took a look at a Hensley hitch to describe that a little bit more. And finally, we talked about the advantages of a Freightliner over a pickup. If you have any other questions, please feel free to call me at 303-684-3404. Email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Or for more information, simply click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in today.